right. So, um, so yeah. So the history of the alternative. Where did where did this all start? Oh from? man. Uh, well, when I was in college, I was like, all right, I can be on the radio because th there was a college radio station at the University of Delaware, and it didn't really have like any structure at all. Basically, they just like gave me a time and let me do whatever I wanted. So I just started playing whatever music I wanted. And uh, not that many people listen to it, but I guess like more and more people started hearing about it. And then when I graduated, I was like, damn, how do I do this like on the internet without a radio station, right? So uh, I started on YouTube like doing like interviews. Basically, I just that if you if you called up bands and were like, yo, I want to interview you and and write about your music, they would always be like, definitely. So so I was like, oh wow, people people actually dig this. So. I guess just went from there, and then uh, I learned how to make a website. So I made a website, started like adding more people to the team, and it's kind of improved as it went. I don't know; it's kind of been crazy. Do you remember like what was the first band that you actually interviewed? Oh wow! Okay, so the first few. So I so right after I I went to I was in college, and right after my radio show ended, I went to Europe, and I brought with me like not that much music because like. Only what I I didn't bring a laptop or anything, so only what my phone had on it. But like, the hotel year was on there. Runaway Brother, You Blew It, Transit, a few other bands. But those were the first four bands I interviewed. The all those bands were like really small at the time, and I just I just messaged them all, and all, all four of those like interviews came out terrible. I, I have to say, anybody who wants to do this like. It's gonna start out like not so good, right? But but you get better as you go, and and it was so cool though, just that they would talk to me, and I think that's what like motivated me to like keep doing it. And uh, now I'm slightly less terrible. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean the site's been uh, been pretty awesome. I mean, uh, so when did you start kind of like adding people, and it became more than just you know your thing? Yeah. So we've only had really a website for two years, and before we had a website, it was kind of hard to like. Because we couldn't even post anything; it was just all tweets and like YouTube videos. So then, I guess um, my friend Mike had been helping out a little on the side, but I started like working with people who liked the site. Like people would message like, "I like the site." Like I mean, kind of how I met you. Like people were like, "Oh, your site's sweet." Like how can I help? And then, uh, so about two years ago is when we first started getting like people really s seriously like spending time to help. And uh, in only two years now, we've gone from, like, me and, like, Dan and a few other guys, like, working on it to now there's, like, 25 people. And it's so it's so crazy to think about, like, that, I don't know, it just makes me think, like, wow, like, if you actually, like, stick it out and do this stuff because you love it, like, other people will be drawn to it. So it's been cool. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I totally found your site uh, just through Twitter or whatever. <laughs> um, I don't even remember at this point, but... Yeah, I thought it was pretty sweet you guys were doing. Um, so, like, as far as content goes and your reviews, do you have any kind of, like, structure that you tell people to follow? Or is it kind of just, you know, write what you want and um, start up? We, well, so, so this is kind of, like, a weird thing that I came up with. But I felt like, I felt like a lot of blogs, like, the reason that we're called The Alternative, right, is because we're the alternative to, like, the other way to like cover music, which is, I guess, just write about what other people think is good. And I, I think that the way that people should talk about music is just write about what they think is good, right? So our whole thing is just like, anyone who contributes to the site, nobody gets paid, so everyone's doing it for the love of it. And then they only write about what they actually want to write about. So if you want to write about bands, and you let me know, I'll let you write about them if, if I think they're like, at least up to some sort of standard, right? But so, so yeah, that's kind of always just been our structure. Like kind of Dan, Dan who helps on the site, he's like, it's more of a collective. So I guess it is kind of a collective because like everyone just contributes in their own way. But yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of have a really loose structure. I don't know. I, it's becoming slightly more standard as it goes because as, when it gets bigger, I have to actually like message people like, yo, this is what's coming up. But, but yeah, I've always kept it loose just because, I don't know, it's music and like, it's always kind of been like a side project, so I don't know. I, I like to have fun with it. Yeah, definitely. So you, uh, you've you gotten definitely a lot of bands before they started to kind of blow up, like uh, Pine Grove, for instance, or yeah, like wow. Runaway Brother. 
Um, what what's your favorite band that you kind of discovered before they became as big as they are? Oh man, well well, this is kind of like one of the big reasons I got into this. I would say like there's two there's two things that like drew me into writing about music, and one of them was showing other people music they've never seen before, and the other one was like finding bands like early on and watching them grow really big. And um, I would say the band that really like got me into music and got me into like following blogs and everything was Arctic Monkeys because. I started listening to them right when their first album came out and they weren't that big in the United States and now they're like like a big time star and that was always cool to watch that grow. But that was before I really had a blog. So so I would say Hotel Year was like the big one for me where I was like, This band's so good and then now like everyone's talking about it and Pine Grove too as well, just because I know Evan from Montclair and it's just so crazy to see like somebody who's the like the nicest human being like finally getting all this attention it's it's pretty weird like to hear him on the radio and stuff i can imagine so also besides the whole website thing and, and with music like that um you also co-founded a record label yeah so, man I, i'm I trying to be the most stressed human <laughs> i know you, you do too much though but like so tell me about all sounds like how did that begin? so so all sounds was started by um <laughs> The drummer of the band Gatherers, his name is Adam, um, he also runs a studio called Timber Studios. And then uh, this guy, Chris Stillmank in Montclair, who runs like local shows and stuff, they were putting together this whole big venue idea that was going to have all this thing in it. And it became like such a, it like kind of didn't work out like we hoped. But when we started it, they were like, let's have a record label. So they made this record label and they sort of just handed it off to me and were like, hey, you went to law school, like, you know how to do contract stuff, like, you can run a record label, right? Well, how am I going to say no to that? Like, how are you going to say no to somebody offering you a record label, right? So, and and the first band um, that they wanted to sign was Hodera. And I was like, this band is amazing. Like, yes. So, so I've been working on that ever since. And it's always been kind of like a dream to work uh, at a record label. And I feel like I learned so much from doing it. Uh, but uh, yeah, it is stressful doing doing that in alternative and like normal life, man. Oh, but uh, it's it's been fun. It's been fun, and yeah, putting out Hodera's record was a big draw of what got me involved in it. And uh, on top of that, because you don't have enough stress already, you threw a twelve-hour-long concert oh, with yeah. Bernie Sanders a few months back. Oh man, so, yeah, yeah, that went really well, actually, surprisingly. Oh, so, uh, so. So I threw a concert, let's, I, maybe two years ago, I, may, I threw a concert and I was like, this is going to be the alternative concert, right? And it was four bands and it was stressful. And I was like, man, I'm never doing that again. But then uh, when Bernie Sanders came around, I'm like a big fan of like socialism and uh, I don't know, Bernie Sanders in general. So I was like, how can I help Bernie Sanders, right? So I contacted this venue and... Um, I think originally I wanted there to be like 20 bands and I didn't tell the venue and they were like, no, like you can't have more than like six or something. But like eventually I fought with them until they gave me like 12 spots. So, so I put it together and it came out um, really well actually. And like a will way played like uh, Karina Karina um, actually light caverns played a concert. And uh, the, the drummer of light caverns is Chris Musser who runs the Couch King emo blog, and that's how we met. And then we, but then we now our sites are emerging, and like we're we're uniting our staff around this new website that we're working on. So look at that, see, like things. That's the thing with music, like you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's all the the connections. So yeah, speaking of that, that's kind of been the big announcement that you had uh, a few days ago that you guys are merging. So tell me all about yeah. that. So, so basically, like, like we talked about, like, the history of the site, right? So two years ago, we started making the site, and at that point, I was pretty much doing everything. And then um, Sean, who you know, was also helping out with um, editing a lot of stuff. But, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm almost 27. Like, I, got, I can't, like, spend as much time on it as I would want to. So I was looking for, like, more people to help out, and uh, Chris approached me that his site couch king he was like i don't know what to do with this site like i want to make it like better i want to take it to the next level but like i don't have the team to do it because he only had about like four people working on the site and i was like same here and i could definitely use your help so so we kind of just came together on that and then um i was planning on like building a bigger site 
anyway, so I figure, okay, let's do that. And now, now it's like a crunch because it's supposed to come out in like 12 days and I'm like coding, coding, like, ah, I feel like the Home Alone kid right now, but yeah, it's got, it's going pretty well. So, uh, I'm really excited for that. And then we're also like doing a podcast as part of that. So, uh, I always wanted to have a podcast to kind of like bring it back to like radio, like doing radio and it's the best I could do. Because the whole point of this site, like I said, was like to to imitate like be, having a radio show. Because right now it's like kind of you can't really have a radio show. Like you can't become a DJ. Like that's not a career path really anymore. So yeah. yeah. So I think a podcast will bring it back to that, and the new website will make it a lot better. And just working with more people who have good music taste and like are dedicated, I think, is always going to be a big help. So are there any like new features coming like? The alternative right now, you guys do reviews, you have interviews, you have the whole um, October's got the horror thing going on with uh, Finland. Yeah, yeah. So so one thing that I really wanted to add, and it's like kind of been a struggle because it's something that I don't know as much about, is like art and like photography, film, all these sort of other art forms that aren't music. Um, I always wanted to find a way to talk about them on the site, and so... In the new site, we're going to have a section that's just art, and it's actually Emily Dubin who uh, records music videos. She's a photographer. She writes for us. She does all this stuff. So she's going to be the main editor of that section. Kind of just talk about whatever she finds that is interesting because, like, sometimes I'll find, like, uh, like a painter or, or a graffiti artist or something, and I'm just – I love the art, and it. I just would love for there to be another way to talk about it because there aren't a lot of – blogs for that at least that I know like blogs that cover both so um, I don't know I think that'll be cool and then um, we're also looking to do like more uh, opinion pieces like we started doing op-eds this year and I feel like it adds a little like depth to just n like not just reviewing music and so so we'll see how it goes and I, I mean I'm always down to add more stuff but uh, right now it's just sort of like piecing it together as it comes together uh, so I know you're doing the whole podcast thing. Are we going to see a bit of a revival to the YouTube channel at all? Do you think you guys are trying to do more? Uh, yeah, like content? they're they're always asking me. They're always like people are always asking me like, when are you going to start doing more videos again? And not like I want to do them. I just feel like I don't have as much time personally, and I'm the one who usually does them. But I would like to do them more. I think videos just take a little more time. I mean, writing takes a lot of time too, but at least when I do a video, I don't know what it's, I don't know how you do as many videos as you do. Like, I am so impressed by the amount of videos that you put out. But whenever I do a video, like, I have to write down all my notes and I have to film it and then, like, edit it. And I feel like that's a lot more work than just writing it. I don't know. Like, I'm impressed. You got to teach me your secrets about how to get all these videos out because I like doing them. Yeah, no, that's why I'm asking, because, like, I saw some of the older ones, they were pretty cool. Um, I mean, yeah, video work definitely is a little bit harder than writing, because you do have to not only write it, but film it, edit it, yeah. and everything. But, um, yeah, no, I didn't know, especially because you guys have a, a much bigger group, you're getting a, you know, influx of people, and I'm sure more people, this is going to draw, you know, it's kind of a snow. I'm hoping, man, I'm like, hoping. You, you want to know what's funny about that is actually right before I made a website, uh, somebody messaged me and they were like, because at, at that point we had never written anything. Like we only had music, uh, YouTube videos at that point and, and tweets. And they said, uh, I, I wish I could watch your reviews of the music, but I want something quiet to listen to and you guys don't write. And, and, now, and now people are like, you guys write, but you don't do enough videos. So I guess it's like, you need both, but it, it's it's tough. It's tougher than people think. I, I, a, a lot more effort goes into it than people think. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I mean, like, I, I'm I'm so impressed by these pro YouTubers that like, like are doing these like quality videos. Like even the needle drop guy, like his like Anthony Fantano, like his editing in his videos just really. Even when I'm not, I don't agree with his music taste. I'm just like, good editing. <laughs> like, how did you pull that off? So. Yeah, maybe that's just something I need to get better at. I mean, maybe. I mean, you you have a, a lot going on anyway. Yeah. So I, I was, you know, wonder if there's anybody you, you are incorporating now who's more interested in that. Maybe yeah, well. Do stuff for you. I think, I think the big thing with YouTube videos that um, makes it difficult for a big team to work on them, especially, is that, uh, qual like, differing quality, right? 
like when you do a YouTube channel, you kind of want like a standard uh, video or like at least a standard quality of video. And when you got like 10 different people working on it with different cameras, it gets kind of tricky. But I mean, my, my interviews are all still on YouTube and th those are video. But even those, like, I wish I did a lot more of them. I've been trying to do more, but it's always one. It's always one of those things where, like, I'll like set up a bunch of interviews, and then I'll be like, "Oh shit!" Like, I have so much to do. <laughs> oh man, well, no, it's it's awesome to see what this this site is becoming. I mean, uh, I'm excited yeah, for wild. it. Uh, I, you know, I've I've found so much of my own music from you guys and from you personally. Hey, right, right back at you though too, man. I find so much stuff from you. And like you've done some posts for the site. Like so so you've helped as much as anyone, man. So thanks a lot. And thanks for doing this. This is really cool. <laughs> no, no problem. I mean I, I think it's interesting to see like especially I mean you've done so much more than I have here. So like it's interesting where you've come from that college radio station and yeah you were doing this and you got that whole I, I mean I'm excited to see the new site because your site in general was really well yeah. out and uh yeah, I'm yeah, trying. I'm it. trying. I, th I think, well, here's the thing. So we were on Squarespace, um, and I designed it all myself, and I can't, like, write code or anything. So it was kind of tricky, like, at first, like, to do as much as I want to do. And I, we were kind of maxed out on Square, Squarespace at what you could do. So so we're moving over to WordPress. I feel like this is an advertisement, right? But we're moving over to WordPress just because they have, like, a bigger system that you can build. For blogging, so I think it's going to be a better uh, overall site, and like it's going to have a lot more like tabs and stuff, like a lot more content, all the content people like. But it is stressful to make something because the original, like I think it came out better than I thought it would. So now people are always like, "Well, I kind of like the original one," and I'm like, "Well, damn it! Like <laughs> I'm trying to make it better." Oh, man. Well, you know, so when uh, when can we expect the new site? So the new the new site hopefully I'm like sweating saying this but on the I think on September 28th which is like 12 days from now it should be done it's a it's about I would say 75 percent done there's just some like formatting we need to do and then move over all the posts from the last site onto the new one and there's like I mean we've only done like 300 posts but that's a lot so 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 yeah so that's what we're doing right now. And when is the uh, when's the podcast supposed to? Can well, um, hopefully when the site comes out, there'll be a podcast. Um, the first episode will be on there. I'm still trying to figure out kind of how to get a podcast on iTunes and do all that sort of stuff. But we'll we'll definitely have one recorded by then, I think. Um, the way the podcast is going to work is kind of similar to to the way everything else that we do works, which is it's going to be kind of like free form, and like a bunch of different people will be on it, like. I'd love to get you on one of them at least, right? Yeah. And like um, talk about music and like play some clips of songs. I feel like not enough music podcasts have music on them, so like I don't know. I'm trying to trying to ch play some songs at least. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm excited for that too. Uh, I, I've tried to do a podcast before, but this time I'm working with uh, Ali Nugent, who uh, runs a radio show out of Asbury Park. So we're using her radio studio. So now we can have like guests come in if we want to and uh, really do it legit. So I'm excited for that. Oh, that's awesome. That's good to hear, here, man. Hey, well, it was uh, awesome talking with you. Uh, I'm excited for the new site. No problem. Awesome. Thanks, man. I, I'm, so, I'm so excited to show you it, man. Like as soon as it's done, I'm going to be sending it around. Uh, I Hopefully people like it. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I just... I, I think it's cool, like you said, like this has started from something so small and it's like now we're not quite so small. Like I wouldn't say we're big yet, but but we're definitely more people are watching it, so uh, it's definitely really cool and I definitely appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who checks it out. So uh, speaking of that, where can we find the alternative? Okay, so yeah, social media, right? Um, our current domain name is itsthealternative.com, but we're moving over to a new domain name, getalternative.com. Um, I don't know why exactly. I like Get Alternative better, and also it matches all of our social media, right? Our Instagram is Get Alternative. Our Twitter is Get Alternative. Um, we also have a Facebook, which is The Alternative. But uh, all the other socials are Get Alternative. So, uh, yeah, that's the best way to find us is search Get Alternative. And we got our little logo, uh, black and white. So uh, you'll find it, I'm sure. And I'll, I'll have links for it in the, the video as well. Thanks. I knew you would. You're so legit. <laughs> 
All right. No, no problem. It was great. Uh, great great talking to you, Sam. All right, bye. Great, man.